Left in California's so-called wet season, where the snowpack and the water it contains are very closely monitored for obvious reasons. The amount is critical in dealing with the state's drought moving into the warmer months. Now, as Fox 40's Dennis Shanahan shows us tonight, there's a new eye in the sky, so to speak, giving us a much more accurate look at what's happening there. About 30% of the water California uses comes from snowmelt. That's why measuring it accurately is so important. The old familiar snow survey where a pole goes into the ground and gets weighed for water content is one piece of the puzzle. The Department of Water Resources also relies on about 125 electronic sensors that measure the snowpack. And now a much newer technology is increasingly coming into play. The Airborne Snow Observatory is uh, an aircraft that has a scanning LIDAR and an imaging spectrometer on board. And from 23,000 feet flying over, we can measure the snow depth to within about two and a half inches from 23,000 feet. Still blows me away and I've been doing this for, for over a decade now. Thomas Painter's technology doesn't replace the older methods, but it helps complete the picture. So what's measured at 23,000 feet from an airplane can be validated on the ground with our snow forces and our snow sensors. David Rizzardo of the Department of Water Resources further explains the Airborne Snow Observatory allows the state to measure a much larger area, including places that would be impossible to access on foot. The plane flies back and forth in a grid, getting data every three square meters. This technology has been available for about 10 years. It's been a gradual rollout as the state's budget allows. Our budget is still a little limited, so we're only getting about three or four flights per year uh, during this snowpack season. Ideally, we would like to roll out a program that was more like eight to 10 flights a year so we can really capture the change in the snowpack throughout the season. Having more accurate snowpack data is very helpful when deciding how much water to release from area reservoirs. When we're having flood years, I know it seems like a far distance to have a flood year, I know we're in a drought, but when we have flood years, one of the biggest questions is, well, how much of that snowpack is gonna come down and when is it gonna come down on top of the fact that the reservoirs are already full from rainfall and everything else. And he says during dry times like we're experiencing now, the measurements are important predictors of how much of that water will make it into reservoirs. It's great technology leading to new understandings, but it doesn't take away from the importance of water conservation. One or two really good weeks of snowstorms doesn't make an entire season and it doesn't fill in the hole from the drought the last two years. And so, you know, water conservation and just smart use of your water has become somewhat critical. Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.